All right, welcome back YouTube. So I got a special video here today. Uh, and what I have in front of you is I think something that is desperately needed in the hobby today. And that is people who are doing Persian wargaming armies. Um, I'm actually gonna adjust my tripod here. So that way we can get a better angle. Um, there are tons of videos on Imperial Romans, Napoleonics, Hundred Years War, every other thing um, you can you can imagine. Historic, not everything, but uh, there's a lot of a lot of stuff out there for subjects. What we don't have is Persians. I feel like not a lot of people war game Persians, and that's for two reasons. One, no one wants to be the baddie. Two. There has not been a lot of plastic options until the last couple years ago. Three, Persians are kind of a pain in the ass to paint. And this better not... Good lord, stop. Uh, Persians are kind of a pain in the ass to paint. Uh, there are a lot of colors, a lot of different types of units, a lot of allied troops, like chariots and elephants, and they're, and they're just kind of a pain to paint. Uh, Greek hoplites are not the easiest to paint but probably a little bit easier than these guys uh but we got some really good plastic options now in the form of war games atlantic and vitrix and i have both uh so i thought i'd do a video detailing both unfortunately i don't have a fresh uh war games atlantic sprue the best i could do is is uh one sprue that has two of the figures clipped off and two of the shields clipped off uh because i just uh yeah, I've, I've painted most of them, and uh, I just don't have that much. But I do have a fresh sprue of the Vitrix, and I'm just going to go over how they compare and which the the likes and don't likes I like and which one I think is superior at the end here. So as you can see here, this is the uh, War Games Atlantic sprue. I'm going to look at the date, if it has a date on it. 2019. So these were, these, these were coming off the press for the first time in uh, 2019. Put this one aside here so we can see it a little bit easier. Yeah, so uh, you get eight sprues. They're all identical, no dedicated command sprues. Uh, and you get five figures per sprue for a total of 40 figures in a box set. They come with a variety of shields. You get on each one, each sprue, you get uh, two Sparabara, two of the... Uh, oh... The Spearman Shields, the Takabara Shields, I don't know what the actual name of this shield is, uh, but it's, you know, the figure eight shield that's used a lot in history. And then, of course, the Crescent Shield, which is associated with your Javelin and Light Spearman. Um, so the sprue is a do-all, be-all sprue. Uh, you don't get dedicated command. Each sprue does have a musician arm on it for a, uh, a horn. As you can see here, there's your horn. It'll actually, yep, there you go. Um, there, you have options for horns. You get three or four options for four. You get four options actually for spears. Um, one that's a that's a double-handed spear pose, and then three that are uh, various single arm spear poses. Um, you get some sword and axe options. Uh, a, two or three sword options, and I think one or two axe options. You get a variety of bow cases, and you get uh, three or four bow arms as well. So, and the figures themselves are going to be a mix of these two guys right here, which have padded armor, one guy which will be in scale armor, metal scale armor, and then two guys which are going to be just unarmored. So that, that's kind of the layout you got here. And then the highlight of the sprue, each sprue has 12 heads, variety of sort, helmeted, unhelmeted, animal skin, bear head with, uh, you know, headbands. I mean, you name it, you get tons and tons of heads. I mean, just tons of heads and they're pretty good. They're pretty damn good heads. So like I said, I've painted up uh, 32 of the 40 of these guys. Uh, they, they are what made my initial Sparabara unit. Um, and, and they're okay. Size-wise, they compare very favorably to Vitrix. 
you can stand them into each other just fine. Um, my big gripes about them is there's no banner. So you have to kind of kit bash your own banner, uh, standard bearer. And uh, I just think it really needs a dedicated command sprue. Even if they just included one command sprue in there, um, I think number one, it would cut down on waste because then you wouldn't have to have a, a musician arm with every single figure. You could swap that out for another sword, axe, or bow arm. Uh, and then number two, just not having the banner, the, the standard bearer in there, just it, it really kind of stinks. Because uh, essentially what I did is I just bought an old Essex miniature, which was a little bit smaller, and had him as a stand-in for a standard bearer. Uh, the other thing that sucks about the War Games Atlantic, they're not supported by Little Big Man yet, to my knowledge. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure they're not supported by Little Big Man. Um, now, Relic does make shield transfers for these, but I'm not, I, I don't like their uh, traditional water slide. And I'm not a big fan of the Relic shield transfers on these, uh, in general, rather. So uh, I do own the shield transfer set. From Atlantic Games for these guys. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using them to tell you the truth. So you can see here it has shield. It, it comes, it even comes with a transfer for a banner for a standard bearer. But I don't know where there's no uh, there, there's no standard on the sprue. So I guess that's for you to craft your own. But it does come with really good looking. I mean the shield transfers themselves look really good for the crescent shields and the Takabara shields. Um, but like I said, just like on the Roman ones, you're going to have to center punch that hole or cut it out with a knife like I did. And that kind of sucked. Uh, so that brings me to the Vitrix sprue. Now Vitrix went a completely different approach. Instead of doing a one all be all spearman, archer, command sprue, uh, just a sprue, just one sprue for everything. They have sprues for, they have sets for armored archers, unarmored archers, armored spearmen, unarmored spearmen, and then of course cavalry. They have separate command sprues within each of those sets. So I think that is the way to go. Uh, I, I think the reason why is, is because number one, you're getting more, you're getting a more diversified miniature. You're getting more options on the miniature. Maybe not in the head department, uh, but it's going to allow you to build units easier. Uh, and I think the sprues are just more well thought out, and there's some really nice features on the Vitrix that I'm going to go over that just outshine the uh, the War Games Atlantic. So as you can see here, head options. We actually got pretty funny here. We got uh, we got like scarfs you can put on your miniatures funny enough there's scarving options as you can see there you got four heads on the on the bottom there and then another four heads now it's eight heads um i think that's plenty because there's only four figures per sprue so you're still getting two heads to choose from for every miniature on this sprue um the poses of the miniatures they're a little bit more dynamic um, and this is the archer box set, unarmored archers. So none of them are going to have armor, uh, which I like because I'm not awkwardly having to try and put together uh, the units I want. Like I know these are all unarmored. They're going to be used in unarmored units. And I don't have some extra armored guys just sitting around or I don't have enough armored guys to go around. Uh, but yeah, they have an actual kneeling guy who's who's firing a bow, it would appear. The shield options, they're not going to come with that that uh, that figure eight shield because that is traditionally a sp spearman shield. Now, the spearman box set comes with that, but they come with the crescent shield for the skirmishers slash archers. You can put them on your archers, and they do come with the sparabara shield. The sparabara shields are actually nicer because they have different patterns. As you can see here, each shield is is different so you're getting four shields per sprue and they're all different you see that's a different design those are different designs so you're getting a lot of options for the spara bara shields uh, they come with bow cases because this is the bowman set all of the bow cases here are going to have the quiver out 
so the arrows are all going to be out. If you have the Spearman box set, they also come with bow cases, but they're going to have bow cases that, that are like closed. They don't have the arrows and the bow, bow exposed. So uh, you get lots of bow options. You get eight bow options uh, for the miniatures. So you can have guys firing bows, rettering their bows, having the bow at the low ready, whatever it is. And then it still comes with uh, some uh, other hand options for other hand weapons. You got swords, you got some axes. Yep, you got a couple axes on there. Uh, and yeah, and what's really, really cool about this set, which I think is a really nice finishing set, just like the Perry's sets, these are arrows you can have put into the ground. So, you know, uh, you can have those representing uh, the guys pulling arrows out of the ground at the ready. And they also have air. You could also use those as uh, arrows in the shield. So you can model them as uh, you know the shield's been shot there with an arrow. And then they have a bunch of loose arrows too. So you can have guys holding arrows or just have use these arrows for diorama purposes. Now, what's a big highlight in this set over the uh, War Games Atlantic? I'm sorry, I keep forgetting the name War Games Atlantic. Are these things right here those are the stands for the sparabaras or games atlantic did not include those and that is quite annoying so i just kind of had to haphazardly glue them to the hands of the miniatures to keep them upright which isn't correct these would have had stands like shown here they include the stands on these so that is really, really nice. So if you're modeling these, they'll actually look correct from the rear. Um, I really wish War Games Atlantic would have thought of that, but they didn't. And then, so this is this is the, the archer screw. And you get 24 archers in total. And then you get two of these command sprues for a total of six command figures. And I'll show the command sprue off here. And this is, this is a huge highlight over the... Uh, you see there, what do you get? Two standards. You could choose from two different ones. And then you got clearly the boss man right there in scale armor. We got another guy in scale armor and we got a musician. Uh, there's only one set of arms for the uh, musician, but that's really all you need. Um, and it does come with Aspis, if you want these guys, I guess to be Kardaka or the Crescent Shield. Uh, you get a, more head choices, even more head choices here. You get five more heads for three more figures, so you can use some of these heads and scarves on your other archer figures if you want. Um, and then you get some more uh, hand weapon options. You get a guy holding a spear. You got some arms for axes and swords. And then you get some loose weapons as well. So... Yeah, I'm really, really digging this sprue. The detail quality is slightly better than the War Games Atlantic. They're very comparable, but I would give the edge. I mean, this uh, this coat, this coat they have, that that's actually really nicely sculpted in plastic. And you can see the back of the shield. There's detail on the back of the shields. So all in all, really great set from Vitrix. Uh, and I like the fact that I can choose whether I'm getting an archer set, a spearman set, armored and unarmored. That really is going to allow me to tailor the units how I want. Instead of having a hodgepodge of mixed armors and whatnot and having, you know, not having enough loose parts to form a certain type of spearman or a certain type of, uh, you know, archer or light troop. Now, these are archers. They don't come with slings, but oddly enough, the spearman sets come with slings. So, if you want to make slingers, you got to actually buy the, uh, the spearman set. So, I'll be doing that. I'll be making some slingers out of my spearmen because I want to have a unit of slingers as well. Uh, so, just as an FYI there, there are no sling options on the archer sprues. Those are on the uh, spearman sprues. So, yeah, all in all, uh, I won't be, I, I definitely won't buy any more War Games Atlantic. They, they were a really good value. I only paid $33 for the box, which is less than a dollar a miniature. Uh, but the fact that they're not supported with shield, with good 
shield transfers, and the fact that they don't have dedicated command sprues, uh, it really kind of turned. It, 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 I think the the Vitrix is done better. So the quality is okay on the War Games Atlantic, but you just get a lot more flavor and a lot more bang for your buck on the Vitrix. You know, like having the different, uh, the all different spar bar shields with the different designs on them. And, uh, you know, because, like, this is what they'll look like. Now these are painted, obviously. But that's the only spar bar option you get from War Games Atlantic. They're all going to look like that. Which, it, which isn't that big of an issue, but it's nice to have options, and the Vitrix gives you the options. Just like they give you the options for different uh, banners and standards, and they give you uh, a lot more options, in my opinion, for the actual bowmen themselves. So, yeah. So, I hope this helps somebody out who's trying to build a Persian army. Uh, I think right now, Vitrix, if you are if you want to do Persians, especially Greco-Persian War, uh, Vitrix is really kind of the only the only route to go uh, when it comes to your infantry. I mean, they, they just, they're dominating the market right now. So, and Vitrix is only getting better and they're only releasing more. So Vitrix, if you're watching this, man, some Indian elephants and some Sith chariots would be great. I hope you're developing those sets. I'd be very interested in those two sets uh, if you could get those developed. So uh, until next time, guys, keep painting.